first thing I wanted to do was to divide this cake into twelfths. So before I put it on the board, I actually div divided it up. Um, and though you can't see it, I have little pricks, pin pricks on the bottom of this cake. But I will show you. Oh, I can get this to cooperate. Here we go. This is an 8 inch cake on a 12 inch board. So center it up here. And then what I did was find every mark where there's a 12 and marked my cake, which of course it's not on its marks right now. Let's see if we can line it up. That looks like it right there. So there should be a mark right here, a little prick down there. I didn't do the best job of covering this cake, but we're covering it up. Um, and then everywhere there's a 12, I marked the base of this cake. The idea is that there are 12 zodiacs, and so I'm going to be spacing them around this cake. Okay, so I did that just in preparation. Let me move the cake out of the way. And what I have right here are the zodiacs. Now I've done some of them already. And what we're going to do is just some run sugar. I have a piece of mylar or acetate. You can use um, the acetate sheets, they sell for chocolate. You can use wax paper, I think parchment, I'm not sure if parchment paper works, I haven't, I haven't used that, but I know wax paper works. Um, I just prefer the acetate, this is like, um, I found it in the art supply store and it's what they, a lot of them people use for the uh, book covers, uh, page, page protectors, that kind of thing. What you want is a tiny little bit of shortening on this, you want it nice and clean, so clean it off first, and then a little bit of shortening, and I mean a small amount of shortening on it, okay, and then you're going to wipe that excess off, okay. So you know that there's grease on there, but there's a very tiny little bit of amount. As long as when you pipe your royal icing on top of it, don't scrape it off and put it back in here and then mix it, because what you've done now is mixed fat into your royal. But as long as your royal lays on top of it, it will help it to release. So what we're going to do is thin our royal. I have some nice soft consistency royal here. Okay, and a little bit of egg yellow, just a drop, and I'm going to mix it up, get a nice yellow going here. Now this depends on what kind of a gold you're looking for, a bright gold. If you're looking for an old gold, you want to use gray, but a bright gold, you want to use a yellow, a yellow base. What I want to do now is I want to um, thin this down to run sugar consistency, which is a slow count. For me, it's a slow count of 15 or 16. It's when the frosting will uh, smooth back out. So what I'm going to do is run a little water in here. Okay, and if I get too much, I can always add more of the large consistency, the uh, straight up thick royal to make it thick again if I get it too watery. Try not to stir too much. You don't want to get air bubbles in it, but as you can see, if I let this go, it's just going to keep, it's not going to go back into itself and smooth out by a slow count of 16. Still a little too much, but it's not going to take much. So I'm not going to need more than a couple more drops. Literally, oh, just a couple more drops. You get to the point where you're going to add it pretty much one drop at a time. You want it nice and thick because we're not doing outlines. These kind of characters are going to be too hard to outline and then flow in. Okay, we're just going to straight flow them. 